Welcome back. Let's talk about how to create a work-life balance. Very important. It refers to the ability to manage both personal and professional responsibilities in a way that allows you to live a fulfilling life both inside and outside of work. Now, achieving a healthy work-life balance can be challenging, especially in today's fast-paced world where technology has made it easier to stay connected to work at all times. But it's important to prioritize self-care, like I mentioned earlier, setting boundaries, and then manage your time effectively to ensure that you're able to maintain a healthy work-life balance. Now, one way to create a work-life balance is define what it means to you personally. Now, this can vary from person to person and depend on your personal and professional goals, family responsibilities, and other commitments. For some people, for example, you may need fewer hours of working or taking more breaks during the day or engage in different activities. For others, it may mean dedicating more time to hobbies, exercise, or spending time with family and friends. Here are some techniques for creating a work-life balance that may help you. Now, prioritize self-care. This includes getting enough sleep, like I mentioned earlier, eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly. It's important to take care of your physical, emotional, and mental health to ensure that you're able to manage stress and be productive in all areas of your life. Setting boundaries means setting establishing clear guidelines of when you will work and when you won't work. For example, you may decide to avoid you know, checking your emails or taking calls after a certain time in the evening. You can also set boundaries with coworkers or clients by clearly communicating your availability and preferred methods of communication. Manage your time effectively because using time management techniques such as prioritizing your tasks, breaking down complex projects into smaller steps, and avoiding multitasking. This will help you be more productive during work hours, leaving you with more time to focus on other personal activities outside of work. Scheduling personal time is important, like, for example, your personal activities like hobbies, exercise, or spending time, or playing games, right? Now, this is going to help you recharge and prevent burnout. Now, learn to say no, right? That's, that's sort of like sometimes very difficult to say no, but it's important to set realistic expectations and learn to say no to requests that may interfere with your personal life or work-life balance. For example, let's say you're a working parent who wants to spend more time with your children, for example, right? You could prioritize self-care by ensuring that you get enough sleep, exercise regularly, and let others know about your schedule, right? You could set boundaries with your employer by clearly communicating your availability and preferred methods of communication outside of work hours. You could also manage your time effectively by prioritizing tasks and avoiding multitasking during certain work hours. And finally, you could schedule personal time to spend with your children, family, friends, such as taking them to the park, wherever, and then getting or meeting them on a regular set schedule. So in essence, it requires a proactive approach in managing personal and professional responsibilities by prioritizing self-care, setting boundaries, managing time effectively, for example, scheduling personal time, and then learning to say no, you can certainly achieve a healthy work-life balance that you can enjoy both inside and outside of work.